Good news, no rain to contend with at least through the afternoon, although we may start to light it up with some isolated showers this evening and see a better chance for some rain way down south tomorrow. Now, let's go on a radar tour. Head northeast, you can see there is snow somewhere within the United States. You've got to go all the way up to Stephen King country, up to Maine, uh, to find it. And then you get a little closer to home. There's a bit of moisture moving across west Tennessee. And uh, coastal storm as well as snow spreading inland up around the Pacific Northwest. But we're actually focusing our attention down to the south southwest. And it's this developing wave of low pressure and the moisture that's clearly running out ahead of it that is going to be an influence on our weather over the next, uh, well, uh, through the middle of the week. It'll ramp down by probably Thursday morning. So, future track. Clouds thicken back up again. We've got a nice sunny break right now. Just isolated showers this evening. And if you were with me on sunrise, I was talking about how most of the rain is going to stay confined to our southern counties. Boy, is it. In fact, it's backing off even more so. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot here in Lexington and especially northern Kentucky. It could very well stay bone dry tomorrow. But the farther south you go, south of 64, the more likely you are to at least see some scattered showers tomorrow before we dry back out Thursday. The rainfall totals, tell the tell, projected totals, hundreds of an inch in the bluegrass, upwards of maybe a quarter to a half an inch down into our far southern border. So kind of a glancing shot. And yeah, we're talking balmy temperatures and rainfall time of the year. Folks who want to think about a white Christmas. It's a rarity, about a 16% chance of that happening. The probability in Lexington, the last time we had one, 2010, two inches on the ground. And we've only had six in roughly the last 54 years. Snowiest ever had seven inches on the ground in 1935. This year, we may have some snow showers around. And I know it's 54. Hard to think about snow uh, by next week, but there's a possibility it could be around. We've got a strong southwesterly breeze right now, sustained at 14 miles per hour. Right there you can see it. So this is the reason we're warming things up. But it's not going to last forever. So mid-50s right now in Lexington, 55 in Richmond. Look at the temperature trend over the next seven days. By Christmas Day, an Arctic shot gearing up to hit us. And by Christmas Day, and especially the day after Christmas, we could be in the deep freeze, the Kentucky tundra. This shows you December 24th, Christmas Eve. These are upper level winds, but it shows that trough, that much colder air aloft digging in uh, through a good chunk of the midsection of the U.S. So this is uh, Christmas Day. Deep freeze plunges south. We're likely going to catch a bit of that. It looks like by Christmas Day, which is what we're looking at here, this is a European computer model, temperatures in the 20s to start you off. And if you watch the clock going through the day, Christmas Day, we may not make it above freezing. So there's your deep freeze. It is going to hit sub-zero big time up toward the U.S.-Canadian border. So enjoy today. Mid-50s for the high, partly to mostly cloudy. An isolated shower is a possibility late this evening, and then some scattered showers down south. Again, a lot of us, especially if you're around or north of I-64, could stay dry tomorrow, but that shower chance mainly confined to southern counties. may have to adjust that probability a little bit, that uh, percentage. So into the weekend, another round of rain, maybe a hint of a mix at times as temperatures get down to around freezing. But look at next week. Look at the temperature just plummet from well above average to around freezing, if not upper 20s. Going to keep a low end chance for some precipitation around Christmas Day. But right now, that's still a, a big question mark as far as any potential for wintry weather on uh, December 25th. Tom